good morning student today we will discuss about the clubbing so in today's lecture we will discuss what is the meaning of clubbing and what are the causes of clubbing and how we are supposed to examine the clubbing so it is one of the top area when you see the patient because there are there are lots of confusion while evaluating the clubbing that's why i'm here to make that thing easy so what is clubbing so clubbing is clubbing to understand the clubbing you have to understand uh in this area there are there is the connected tissue just beneath the nail bed when there is a growth of this connective tissues growth of this connective tissues or the growth of the connective tissues of the sub angle areas that leads to the focal enlargement of the nail bed then that is called clubbing again is the focal enlargement of the nail bed due to the growth of the subangal tissues okay so clubbing is the sign which are elicited even by the hippocrates that is why we call the club nail as also the hippocrates nail okay so what are the causes of the clubbing the causes of the clubbing are you can divide by the system in the respiratory system one of the most important cause of the clubbing is the lung cancer especially the adenocarcinoma so when you see the club nail in a patient with chronic dyspnea or cough then always think about the lung malignancy especially adenocarcinoma lung conditions like lung abscess is also the important cause of clubbing where the clubbing develop rapidly other causes of the clubbing are like sometimes in idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis some we can get the clubbing even in bronchiectasis we see the clubbing so these are the cause of the clubbing just remember always remember about the lung cancers adenocarcinoma and the lung abscess ipf and the bronchiectasis in the cardiac conditions like one of the important cardiac conditions where we see the very nice clubbing is the congenital cyanotic heart disease like tetra tetralogy of fallot where you will see the very big clubbing so congenital cyanotic heart disease is one of the important conditions other conditions that can cause the clubbing is especially the infective endocarditis sometimes like patient with valvular heart disease with fever for 6 7 days and with the club nail then you have to always think about the infective endocarditis okay then the uh, gastrointestinal conditions like inflammatory bowel disease can cause clubbing but these are quite rare we often don't see uh, these conditions so another condition that can cause the clubbing is the hepatocellular carcinoma Uh, that can cause the clubbing uh but for the mbbs student just remember few conditions related to the lungs and the heart that can cause the clubbing because these are quite common and these are clinically more relevant so before going to the examination proper i have forgot one thing here so what is the theory of the clubbing what is the theories of the clubbing theories of the clubbing
the theories of clubbing are uh, there are so many proposed theory like hypoxic uh, theory where uh, because of the lack of oxygen uh, there is a clubbing there is ferritin theory okay there is ferritin theory where there is high level of ferritin cause the uh, clubbing but the most important theory and the most widely accepted theory is PDGF theory that is platelet derived growth factor theory that is what I am going to explain today because it is widely accepted theory. What happens in PDGF theory? In the bone marrow, in the in the bone marrow, mega carocyte, mega carocyte formed and release in the circulation release in the circulations once it reaches to the long heart right side of the heart from vena cava it will go to the lungs it will go to the lungs here in the lungs there are small capillaries where it get trapped and the mega carocyte are lysed in the lungs capillary capillaries but if there is this some pathology in the lungs or in the heart this pathway can be bypassed like in case of congenital cyanotic heart disease mega carocyte can directly go here even in case of the pulmonary av shunting it can bypass if that bypasses the lung capillaries then that mega carocyte will come to the left side of the heart from left side of the heart, it will pump throughout the aorta, aorta, then it will circulate throughout the body. Once it is circulating in the throughout the body, it will get trapped, especially in the nail bed where there are small capillaries. This mega carocyte get trapped in the small capillaries of the nail bed. Once it gets trapped, it will release the platelet derived growth factor it will also stimulate the endothelium of the capillaries which will ultimately cause the growth of these connective tissues okay so this is called the pdgf theory the mega carocytes which are usually trapped in the lungs when because of some disease condition get bypassed through the system they reach to, to, to the nail bed where they release the PDG of and ultimately leads to the growth. This is the most accepted and theories of the clubbing. And as a MBBS student, at least you, you, you have to explain or you need to know this explanation of the clubbing. Okay. So examination wise, examination wise, I will make you easy there is inspection part and the, there is palpation part palpation part inspection part inspection part when 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 you are you are looking after the patient just inspect the clubbing first look at the tangentially tangentially to the nail bed where well, there is the angle lobby bonds angle or there is obliteration of the lobby bonds angle you have to see from the side and you have to see from the above just that that is the inspection just observe observe the lobby bonds angle and second thing what you can do in the inspection is that inspection is you can check for the samroth sign when we do like this we can see some diamond shaped space over here this space will get obliterated if there is a clubbing okay so in inspection we can check the obliterations of the lobby bond angle one second is that we can check the samroth sign that's for the inspection okay i have told you the lobby bond angle what is lobby bond angle that you should know it so lobby bond angle is the uh, basically is nothing is a very simple
Now we bond angle. Is, this is a nail plate. This is a nail plate. This is nail plate. Lobby bend angle is the angle formed by this nail plate when it is coming out of the nail bed. Out of the nail bed. So this is the uh, this, in this angle, it nail bed nail nail bed is going. And when you just draw the one profile angle the, like this, a straight line. This angle is called the lobby bond angle. Lobby bond angle, and usually it is less than 160 degree. No, in no, normal conditions. It is with less than 160 degree and lobby bond is a scientist name of the scientist it is usually less than 160 normal individual in the palpation part you have to do the nail fluctuation test nail fluctuation test one nail fluctuation you can because as there is softening of the nail bed you can do the nail